going to pop a crop tube down here. I'm just going to check that the crop is empty before I put it in here. I'm going to start by putting it on the left side, making sure the bird's neck is on the left. You can feel it going down. Yeah, so put it to the right now and push it down. And you can feel it. So now it's in. Remember you this is how I remove a rat from its cage. This is how I would hold a rat to get sex by me. How I would hold a rat for a general body examination. And this is how I put a rat in the cage for transport. put a rat back in its cage. <laughs> and this is the rat's food, how it's presented with the pellets and the fresh fruit and this is where its water bottle sits so they can't knock it over. This is how it would catch a mouse. And remove it from its cage. And remove it from its cage. Yeah. Hold a mouse for a general body examination. Yeah. Hold a mouse to get fixed. <laughs> this is how I would put a mouse back in its cage. Run, run, run. Cage. This is also run, the run, cage run. I would use for transporting a mouse. This is how you remove a guinea pig from its cage and hold it safely. <laughs> This is how you would restrain a guinea pig for a general body examination. This is how I hold a guinea pig for sexing. This is how you would put a guinea pig in a box for transporting. <laughs> put a guinea pig back in its cage. This is how you would catch a bird. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. You're right. Sorry. This is how you would restrain a bird for a general body examination. This is how you extend their wing, and you'd cut along here. And this is how you would extend its squawky. Hey, hi. Hello, buddy. This is how you would extend its leg. Extend all over. And this is how you would assess their keel bone by just gently feeling that it's well muscled. Feeling that it's well muscled. These birds get fed fresh budgy seed that goes through the top here and out the bottom. They also get fed fresh fruit and vegetables. And this is how they are watered. Stuck to the cage and you stick the water in there and they can perch on and drink. You remove a bunny from its cage. And this is how you would safely hold it for a general body examination. In the cage for transport. For a general body examination. This is how you would also put a topical treatment on, just holding the bunny and putting it on the back of his neck. And this is how you would also groom a bunny. Put your hand on it at all times and just to also check its teeth you would have somebody else either holding it or checking its teeth for you. But what you do is just lift up, have it up against your body so it can't go backwards. You just lift up the side of its mouth there so you can check its teeth. This is how you would also um, put a syringe in its mouth. Just lift up the side of its mouth there and pop it in there. Good boy. This is how you would also hold a bunny for sexing. How you put a bunny back in its cage is making sure you're still supporting its back legs. This is just how you would clip their nails, just holding them against you, and you would just push out his nail there and just clip it. The rabbit's food is presented in a wee bowl. It's also on this, which you fill up the top here. 
and it comes out the bottom and their water bottle which is on the cage so they can't knock it over.